today uh, we're going to have a training on surviving your early career, academic career. Uh, by the way, I'm uh, Dr. Ilhami Abdul Azmi. I'm the head of uh, unit of leadership uh, and uh, well-being. And, uh, well, um, as you know, okay, uh, our course outline by the end of uh, this course, okay, uh, we hope that okay, all of you will understand okay what is uh, academic career, and uh, you will appreciate academic career path and other three five strategies in surviving your early academic career. Next. Okay, uh, so before we go further, okay, I would like to ask all of you, okay, what do you understand okay, by academic career? What do we mean by university lecturer? Well, okay, basically, okay, there are three main tasks, okay, as a university lecturer that we have to do. Eh? Firstly, is teaching and learning. Okay, this is our main responsibility, or we call it as kerja eh? hakiki. Alright, so all of you okay, will have uh, some of uh, uh, classes or teaching load okay, for teaching and learning, either at uh, undergraduate or postgraduate level. Okay, either you are going to teach okay, the subjects, uh, uh, the whole subjects, or you're going to share okay, with your colleagues. Eh? Um, and at the same time, okay, uh, talking about teaching and learning, okay, um, other than teaching, okay, you also need to um, prepare, okay, some instructional materials, okay, and also assessment methods, eh? um, and also you need to prepare some exam questions and results, and uh, after that, you have to uh, present, okay, to your head you know, of department. Um, and um, you also need to supervise, eh? your post credit student, okay, either it's a master level or PhD level, uh, and uh, you have to ensure that, okay, they have uh, uh, completed, okay, their, their PD, CD, um, viva, viva, and also similar thesis, and also, okay, you have to supervise your undergraduate project paper. Okay? And uh, also, okay, on top of that, okay, you also need to publish, okay, you have to make sure that your uh, postgraduate student to be published and at the same time okay you also need to publish yeah? uh, so that's why we come to the term okay what we call it as uh, published or perish okay? that's our also uh, our uh, main responsibility as a UC lecturer okay or we call it as kerja uh, hakiki yeah? um, so um, how to publish okay this is uh, from our run output so okay we just uh, research output and also from our supervision okay uh, uh, postgraduate uh, output, okay, uh, whereby, okay, these students, okay, they have to publish at like, least two uh, articles, okay, two journal articles. And uh, finally, okay, our main task, okay, as an academic is to do some administrative duties. Eh? So about 10% uh, uh, okay, is allocated okay, for administrative duties. And also, uh, you need to contribute, okay, to the society. Uh, and talking about uh, leadership, okay, you need uh, to uh, develop okay, some course uh, uh, outline eh? and also, okay, you have to obtain okay, some awards and also recognitions. Eh? Uh, so this administrative duty, okay, you can do it as a, a department level, or, um, uh, faculty level or university level or uh, locally or internationally. Okay, next, yeah. Okay, uh, so this is our academic career path. Okay, uh, so starting off from being a tutor, okay, or you may start okay by being a slack and sly uh, students, whereby you have to complete okay um, your PhD, okay, then uh, you're going to uh, be uh, promoted okay as a lecturer, and upon uh, confirmation okay after one to three years as a lecturer okay upon confirmation um, you can uh, prepare okay for your promotion um, to be promoted as a senior lecturer and after three years okay, as a senior lecturer after you have uh, completed um, all uh, the requirement um, especially okay for the publication okay at least uh, have at least uh, 12 uh, 
uh, general articles, okay, then you may um, promote and uh, you may uh, apply, okay, for professorship. Okay, um, for your information, okay, academic career path, okay, uh, in Malaysian states is actually a combination of uh, American and also British um, uh, universities, eh? um, okay, uh, this is because, okay, in uh, UK, okay, uh, we don't have uh, this uh, term, okay, as we call it as associate professor, uh, whereby, okay, in uh, US, okay, they don't have the term as senior lecturer, okay, instead they have uh, assistant. Uh, so uh, what we have here is actually okay is uh, the system okay the, the academic system okay in only okay in Malaysia universities. Okay, next year. Okay, so uh, this is our first exercise. Okay, uh, can you please okay label okay the grade for each position of an academic career in your faculty. Okay, you can uh, jot down, okay, your answer, okay, your reply in the chat room. Uh, no, we, uh, Shah, we are waiting for the participant, okay, to answer the question, okay. So, what is the grade? for each position of an academic career okay, in your faculty. So I believe that, okay, that uh, all of you okay, are not from the same faculty. Okay, I saw that some of you okay, are from uh, medical uh, faculty. So maybe okay, you have a different grade okay, for all the position of the academic career that I showed you just now. Okay, any, any answers? Any uh, responses, uh, Shah? Uh, you can uh, respond in the chat room. Anybody? Okay, let's try uh, Aini Ibrahim. Aini Ibrahim, are you here? Dr. Pengerang um, Ismail? I believe Dr. Pengeran Ismail okay, from uh, medical faculty. Dr. Pengeran Ismail. Assalamualaikum. I'm from faculty. Uh, I think my answer is just like Farid Nazir. Sorry, I cannot hear you. I think my I, I think the answer for this question same with Farid Nazir. Uh, same with Farid Nazir. Okay, Farid Nazir, uh, are you here? Yes. Ah uh, yeah, Farid Nazir. Are you a doctor? Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, yeah, Doctor Farid. Yeah, please. <coughs> so as far as I know, uh, uh, for professor is PK seven and uh, there are a few more, but I don't know the details. And then associate professor will be usually uh, fifty four, depending on what lecture you're. It could be the S D U or F. Uh, uh. And then senior lecturer is GS fifty one, and then lecturer is GS forty five. Uh, yeah, okay, you got it correct. Okay, except that um, uh, the label, okay, the label of uh, uh, the academics, okay, in uh, medical faculty is uh, quite, uh, is quite different, okay, from us. Okay, we, okay, we, only, we have uh, the term as uh, the abbreviation of uh, uh, ES, eh? whereas uh, for um, lecturers, okay, in medical faculty, okay, the abbreviation is uh, DU, eh? 
Okay, do you okay for lecturers in uh, medical faculty? Is that right, uh, Dr. Pengurai Ismail and Dr. Pare? Uh, there will be a mix, I think, because I'm also in the medical faculty, but I'm not a clinician, so I'm a DS. But the clinicians oh. will be DU. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you are a clinician. Okay, about a doctor. Eh? All right. Okay, as, as far I am concerned, okay, uh, those, okay, from uh, dentistry. Okay, is there any um, representative, okay, from dentistry? Um, any uh, dentists here? Hi, Assalamualaikum. Dentistry okay, will be DUG. Ah, yeah, that's right, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the label, okay, for the academics, okay, in um, uh, dentist, uh, dentistry faculty. Um, okay, you have a DUG, okay, pharmacy, do you have, huh? Okay, thanks, <laughs> Dr. Parit. Um, and for medical, okay, uh, lecturers, okay, it's uh, DU, eh? okay, so that's the only difference, lah, eh, between um, uh, medical faculty and uh, dentistry and pharmacy, eh? uh, dentistry, okay. And uh, I also believe that, okay, for uh, medical faculty, okay, there's one extra, okay, one extra label, okay, one extra uh, academic position uh, for uh, associate professor, okay, whereby, okay, in other faculty, okay, we don't have, okay, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, term, okay, uh, that's uh, position, okay, which is um, uh, DU, uh, DU56, eh? DU56 or DUG56, um, and uh, I, I believe, okay, it's not, I'm not sure, okay, is it the same, okay, in um, pharmacy, pharmacy faculty, pharmaceutical faculty? Okay, all right, thank you, okay, Dr. Farid, okay, for that question, okay, actually, okay, the difference is, okay, between uh, the, the S52 and the S53 is only about uh, uh, appointment, okay, uh, whereby uh, the S52 and the S54, uh, okay, um, the position, the position is by uh, by promotion, okay, whereby uh, the S51 and um, 53, okay, uh, they are appointed, they are appointed as uh, uh, either a senior lecturer or associate professor, meaning that, okay, they don't apply for promotion, uh, they got promoted, okay, and they, sorry, they got uh, appointed, okay, as senior lecturer or as uh, associate professor, okay, whereby for the S52 and 54, uh, lecturers, okay, they apply for promotion. So that's why, okay, their label, okay, is uh, a little bit, okay, uh, different. All right, okay, Dr. Pare. Okay, all right, good. So I hope that, okay, by now, okay, you understand, okay, what is uh, academic career, okay, what are the main tasks, okay, that you have to do, okay, so what are your main responsibilities as an academic, okay, as a university lecturer, all right, and also, okay, the academic part, okay, in uh, Malaysian universities, okay, so you can see, okay, the hierarchy that you have to climb, okay, from uh, being as a uh, slap slide or tutor, and then, okay, you have to uh, climb, okay, the ladder, okay, the uh, career path, okay, in order to be promoted, okay, to the most uh, top uh, position, okay, in Malaysian university, which is uh, professor, right? Okay, so you can see now, okay, um, the climb, okay, that you have to make, okay, if you are from uh, from the bottom, okay, um, and you have to climb, okay, to the top, okay. So similar to me, okay, in my experience, okay, I've uh, been, okay, in that kind of uh, situation, okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah, okay, I'm now a social professor, and um, I still have uh, one, okay, position that I have to climb, okay, which is a uh, uh, professor. So, wish me the best of luck. Okay, uh, so can we go on, okay, with the next uh, slide, uh, Shah? Okay, all right. So, what do you mean by early academic career? Okay, so early academic career uh, is from year one to year five. Eh? Uh, so, starting from year one uh, to year three, okay, you, you have to uh, sit for confirmation. Okay, Shah? Okay, next. And then, okay, after you are being confirmed, okay, um, okay, you have to uh, prepare for your promotion, okay, from year four to year five, eh? All right, so uh, basically, okay, there are lots of um, 
um, syarat-syarat eh syarat-syarat uh, conditions okay prerequisite okay that um, you have to ensure that you achieve okay those conditions okay in order to be confirmed okay so I'd like to ask okay how many of you are not confirmed yet and uh, how many of you are already confirmed and you are preparing for your promotion okay uh, you uh, <laughs> raise up your hand or maybe okay you can uh, Response okay in the chat area. Okay. All right, right slowly. <laughs> okay, all right. Some of you are under contract. Oh. <laughs> Somebody is in Turus 3, okay, Turus 3, okay, Turus 3 is our uh, BC, okay, just now, okay, in this, uh, this morning, okay, he gave us um, uh, from Tucson, eh? Okay, uh, any more responses? Okay, Farid is uh, still in contract. Uh, contract, you mean... Um, you are still um, in year one to year three, yeah? Got it? Yes. Yes. Not even a year, just a few months. <laughs> okay, so you are very, very new. So welcome, okay, to the group. So I hope that, okay, by listening, okay, to my webinar, okay, you are going to have uh, some ideas of how, okay, to uh, survive, okay, in your early academic career. All right, so mostly, most of you okay, are still okay, under contract. Eh? Um, so, um, uh, do you know that, okay, what are the conditions okay, that we have to fill okay, in order to be confirmed? Have you looked for it? Okay, you can uh, reply, okay, uh, your response, okay, in the chat area. Have you look for the conditions in order to be confirmed? You know, okay, what are the conditions in order to be confirmed? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, I've heard a uh, rule uh, saying that from this year, they will not follow the usual three years uh, to get into confirmation. But it seems that from now on, they will give you, uh, put you under contract for five or six years and then after that, they will evaluate you for associate professor. If you qualify, then they will take you in as a permanent staff. Is that true? How true is that? Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so for your information, okay, there's a difference okay between uh, medical faculty, there's dentistry faculty, pharmaceutical uh, that, uh, faculty, okay, from uh, other faculties. Uh, in the terms that okay, this faculty okay, they don't have to prepare for promotion, eh? because okay, they are. Uh, position okay is uh, more on uh, seniority okay time base uh, so meaning that okay you don't have to think of uh, how many publications do you have okay how many uh, books do you have okay how many PhD students okay do you have huh? uh, so uh, you just uh, so it means that okay just wait for your time okay to come and uh, you just fill the form okay and it should not be promoted uh, and also will be confirmed so it's uh, quite different, okay, the way of uh, uh, what it, uh, promotion and also confirmation, okay, for uh, medical uh, lecturers, uh, uh, that is three uh, lecturers and also pharmaceutical lecturers are different, okay, from, from us. So that's the only difference. But for us, okay, we have to comply, okay, we have to comply all the requirements, okay, uh, the numbers of, uh, in terms of the numbers of general articles, uh, uh, in terms of the number of uh, PhD students that we have to supervise. So we have to make sure that okay, we have uh, fulfilled okay, all those uh, conditions. And then okay, we can apply okay, for promotion okay, from uh, step uh, by step. Okay, uh, Pari? Uh, Dr. Dr. Yes. Can uh, yeah, I, I uh, interrupt? Yeah, sorry, I didn't have my mic just now. Okay, so basically, um, yourself. Okay. You're from Mishakuti. 
Uh, I'm Aini from Faculty uh, of Medicine, so oh, okay. actually same as Dr. Farid oh, <laughs> from the same right, okay, uh, I joined in UM in 2017, so this is my almost like five years uh, already. So when I first joined in, we joined in as contract and uh, for the S51 and then we have to fulfill all the requirements, then only we become confirmed. And we have to wait for, I mean, there's another milestone that we have to achieve. And then at least one year for it to, uh, for us to be confirmed. Then only you can climb up the ladder for promotion. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Good. Uh, so, yeah. So this is what I experienced uh, on the 2017. But I'm not so sure like the batch after I came, whether the UM guideline have changed or not. Okay. All right. So, um, it means that, okay, uh, you're not in the same batch with uh, Dr. Farid lah, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dr. Farid is from pharmaceutical uh, faculty, yeah? Yeah, but she, uh, but he started in 2020. So, after, after that, I think UM started to give like two years contract and so on. Yeah. Mm. But, the the uh referring to the slide here one to three years confirmation is not uh exactly true for uh at least in my case because one to three years is the time where we have to fulfill the requirements to become contract to permanent and then after that we have to wait for another year at least and also fulfill a requirement to become confirmed so altogether, it took me about four years to become confirmed from 2017 and only last year that I get uh, confirmation of my service. Okay, congratulations Dr. Tiny. Thank okay, you. Alhamdulillah, you got confirmed. Um, this no. means that okay, uh, it's more than three years lah. Eh? So it takes you four years eh, to be confirmed. Eh? Yeah. But I think, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, but uh, I think, okay, that's normal, okay, uh, because uh, in uh, other faculties as well, okay, they're facing okay, the same situation like you, okay, because it's not easy being, uh, to be confirmed, eh? because uh, uh, unless, okay, you have all number of uh, publications, okay, uh, requested, okay, by PSM, okay, then only, okay, you can be confirmed, okay, if not, okay, then, okay, you will stay forever as a, a lecturer, okay, uh, right, okay, uh, the tiny. Okay, uh, can I read, okay, uh, those um, conditions, okay, in order to be confirmed, okay, for other lecturers, okay, for other positions, okay, for uh, lecturers, okay, from other faculties, eh, right? Okay, like the uh, Pinchara step slide, okay, uh, so you need to uh, fulfill, okay, the duration of uh, uh, confirmation, um, pro sorry, probation, and then, okay, you need to make sure that uh, you have set for uh, PTM, okay, Program uh, Transformacy Minda, eh? okay, and uh, you have to make sure that uh, your study leave report, okay, is satisfactory, and uh, uh, finally, okay, your uh, head of department, okay, need to uh, verify, okay, uh, your uh, progress of your uh, PhD study, yeah? Whereas, okay, for lecturer, okay, for lecturer, uh, the, the conditions, okay, are quite similar that we have to, um, we have to also, okay, have to seek for the PTM, okay, program uh, transform Minda, okay, su uh, successfully. And, um, okay, and uh, you have to achieve, okay, you have to be sure that you achieve uh, the KPI, okay, uh, the KPI, uh, so as you know, okay, the marks, uh, uh, um, sometimes, okay, the marks, okay, uh, keep on uh, changing, okay, last time when I was uh, uh, a senior lecturer, okay, it was uh, 100%, okay, you need to get uh, KPI of 100%, okay, but now, okay, it's uh, reduced, okay, to 80% only, yeah, and, um, and then um, um, for lecturer, okay, in order to be confirmed, okay, they need to uh, make sure that, okay, they have uh, fulfilled, okay, the number of uh, publication, yeah, uh, general uh, article publication okay as requested okay by the uh, by BSM and they also have to sit for Emerald eh? Emerald teaching and learning program uh, successfully eh? and then uh, uh, finally okay uh, the head 
page only okay kita department okay ni tu verify okay the progress uh, the, uh, the performance of the lecture okay all right so that's are the conditions okay in order to be confirmed okay for uh step slide and also for lecture all right okay any questions so far okay i would like to ask of you okay how many of you okay have set for ptm and also emerald you know what is the difference between ptm and emerald no okay all right okay uh for your information okay emerald okay uh is a teaching and learning program okay which is organized by edad okay so if you haven't okay uh, see for that okay, you may uh, apply okay for it and uh uh Cik Umu, okay is uh, the BIC okay uh, person in charge of this uh, program okay emerald um uh, and uh, for PTM okay for PTM program uh, transform seminar okay you can apply okay from the uh, BSM eh? uh, so um there are some marks okay um allocated okay, for PTM so it means that okay you need to at least uh, have a passing mark at least uh, 60% eh, uh, for the PTM, uh, Program Transform Seminda. Uh, because, okay, uh, 50 marks, okay, are allocated for discipline. Uh, 30 marks, okay, are um, uh, allocated for commitment. And 20%, okay, is allocated for understanding. So, all together is 100%. And you need to get at least 60 out of 100, you uh, know, the parts of the program, uh, Program uh, Transform Seminda. All right? Are you clear now? Okay, what you are supposed to do in your first uh, two, three years and um, if you are being confirmed then okay, you can move okay, to the next step. Okay, that is uh, preparing okay, for your promotion. Yeah? All right. Okay, good. All right, next. Okay, so what are the strategies that we need in order to survive okay, your early academic career? All right, so I have listed okay, eight um, strategies. Uh, the first one is publish, uh, publish for publish. Okay, this is a, a very popular term. Okay, as a, an uh, academic. Okay, uh, because okay, if you don't publish, okay, then okay, uh, you are not going to be confirmed. Okay, you are not going to be promoted. Okay, so that's our kerja uh, hakiki. Okay, but also it's a condition for us uh, um, to show that okay, uh, that we are doing our work uh, and. Uh, and okay, um, by publishing, okay, it doesn't mean that you can publish anywhere, okay. Um, Lucy Mayer, okay, has uh, has uh, allocated, okay, um, some certain um, journals, okay, that you can only publish, um, okay, uh, which are the ISI and Scopus. I think all of you have heard of it. Um, anybody who have not ever heard of uh, what is uh, Scopus or what is ISI? Anybody? You can um, respond okay, in the chat area uh, by typing Y for yes and N for no. No respond. Okay, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, so uh, maybe okay, you have heard it. Okay, from uh, our VC. Okay, Professor. Okay, this morning. Okay, about ISI, about Scopus. Okay, so how many? Okay, have we published? Okay, per year, right? And um, all right. Uh, so okay, so that's the journals. Okay, that we need to uh, focus on. Okay, which is ISI and Scopus. So I believe that those okay, from uh, science faculties, okay, especially okay, uh, medical faculty, okay, dentistry faculty, pharmaceutical faculty, you don't have any problems, okay, on this. Uh. Um, unlike, okay, uh, social science uh, faculty, okay, uh, most of us, okay, are facing problems, okay, in publishing, okay, in uh, ISI. So most of us are, are focusing on Scopus uh, journal. Um, but then, okay, um, um, Nowadays, okay, UC Malaya, okay, has been uh, stressing, okay, on um, uh, academics, okay, to mix around, okay. Uh, so, meaning that okay, we, we not only publish uh, okay, in our field, okay, we can um, do some interdisciplinary research. Yeah? Uh, 
so uh, so so many that okay uh, social science okay those uh, academics okay from social science uh, faculties okay uh, don't feel sad okay uh, there's four for us okay for you especially okay in order to survive okay, in your uh, so other than uh, journal articles okay you can also publish in books okay uh, proceeding um, uh, policy paper um, and in order to be visible okay you can publish in uh, newspaper and also uh, magazine all right but okay in publishing okay you have to bear in mind okay, that you have to avoid plagiarism okay uh, so plagiarism okay is a big no no okay uh, as an academic all right uh, as an, uh, uh, academia okay i think okay you have known about this okay uh, uh, when uh, you are when you are doing okay your PhD, okay, so this is a uh, uh, normal, okay, it's not something new, all right. Um, so plagiarism okay, is a bit no no, and you can kill okay your uh, career, right? Um, and you also okay in publishing, okay, you also need to avoid um, blacklisted, okay, blacklisted journal. Okay, you know what is blacklisted journal? Okay, you can type yes or you can type no. Y for yes and for no in the chat area. Ah, uh, okay, predatory. Uh, no, it's not predatory. Okay, um, I think something like. But then this one is a list uh, blacklisted. Okay, by Mohi. Okay, by uh, Ministry of uh, Higher Education. Okay, uh, so some of uh, the uh, blacklisted journal. Okay, by Mohi is uh, African World Press, Academic Journals. Common Ground Publishings and Euro Journals Incorporation. Okay, so these are the uh, five publishers. Okay, uh, which are uh, blacklisted okay, by Mohi. Okay, so make sure that you avoid okay those uh, uh, publishers. Okay, uh, in order to know okay what are the journals okay under these uh, publishers. Okay, you can Google. Okay, uh, so the list is quite long, especially for for the B list. You know what is B list? Okay, B list. Okay, is uh, predatory journals. Okay, uh, they are categorized into um, a standalone uh, journal and also publishers. Uh, so actually, okay, Bill is uh, listed by Bill himself. Okay, uh, Bill. Okay, Doctor Bill. Okay, is a librarian. Okay, so he has uh, uh, make a study. Okay, on uh, journals. Okay, so he believe that uh, the journals that are uh, uh, listed okay um, in his uh, list is considered as um, uh, predatory okay because of uh, uh, some cr criteria okay some criteria uh, which uh, he is not happy at. But then okay, Mr. Malaya is also using this okay uh, using this two list okay black list and also B list. So uh, okay, do not uh, make sure that okay you do not okay publish okay in this. Uh, journals uh. Uh, so for the journals okay for b list okay you can uh, google okay you can google okay, what the what are the journals okay are the b list uh, because the list is very long uh, and it keep on um, uh, changing okay from year to year right so we have uh, to check okay and next okay next is kpi you have to make sure that your kpi is more than 80 percent okay so i have a question about this okay uh, so you have to make sure that uh, and you got a KPI of uh, more than 80% uh, for three consecutive years. Um, and uh, and I think, okay, uh, um, it's not easy, okay, especially, okay, with, uh, with uh, new KPI, okay, starting from last year, okay. Uh, so, uh, last year, okay, the KPI is more on pointers. Huh? But then, okay, I don't think that uh, for uh, uh, sciences, okay, faculties, huh? Uh, you're not going. Uh, you're going to face uh, problems, okay, in this thing, eh? um, because uh, for those who keep on uh, publishing, okay, in ISI, okay, you get a hundred percent, okay. So I heard, okay, from my friends, okay, those who publish, okay, in ISI, they got a hundred percent. But um, bear in mind, okay, you also need to um, get some grants, okay, research grant, okay, especially uh, FRGS, eh? So these uh, uh these uh business grants okay you can either uh, apply okay locally um, locally or nationally or internationally okay uh, like uh, uh, nationally okay you can apply for FRGS and uh, FRGS is already out at the moment and I believe that uh, some of you okay maybe have uh, applied for it and uh, uh, 
the deadline is uh, approaching and uh, uh, some of us, okay, like me also, uh, are viewing okay, some of the proposals. Uh. All right, okay. And next is C test. Uh. C test, okay, you have to make sure that you, your C test is more than 4.2, okay, 4.2. So, you know what is C test? Yes, student feedback. Yes, okay, good. Nice. Okay, students feedback. Yes, okay. So this uh, C test is student feedback on our teaching. Okay, uh, some uh, components of the C test okay, like the uh, uh, teaching facilities. Okay, and teaching evaluation. Eh? Right. So we have to make sure that we uh, got a uh, more than four point two. Okay, for our C test. Eh? Uh, and C test. Okay, will indicate. Okay, uh, the areas that you need to improve. Okay, if you get a uh, Less okay than four point two, uh, so, but then okay don't worry okay there's uh, room for improvement okay, and then next is mentor okay mentor uh, Sha next okay mentor um in order to survive okay in your early academic career I would like to advise you okay to find a mentor in your field um and uh, research okay have found that um, those academics of the mentor okay they are more productive okay they are more successful and uh, a mentor uh, can help you okay in your early career by uh, by looking for a new avenue okay for networking and collaboration and also okay uh, he can uh, uh, help you okay in uh, understanding okay about the working culture okay in our university right and also uh, especially okay on uh, uh, office politics okay <laughs> office politics uh and uh, others eh? okay next yeah okay next uh next is uh, networking okay networking and collaboration okay so other than uh, finding a mentor okay in your field okay you can also network and collaborate okay, with others uh outside from our university yeah? um uh, either you can find okay your network on your own or you can find okay your uh, network okay uh, from uh, your own mentor eh? So from uh, this uh, networking and probation, okay, you can uh, come up okay, with new research grants and also publication. Eh? Uh, so in order to have good rapport with them, okay, maybe okay, you can uh, uh, go out okay, for breakfast, for lunch, okay, for tea, eh? have a nice tea chat and uh, um, you can get okay, feedback okay, from them okay, about your progress, okay, about uh, anything, okay. Uh, and then, okay, next is uh, visibility, okay, Sha? Okay, visibility, okay, so this is very important, okay, as a um, new uh, academic, okay, visibility is very important, so how to be visible, okay, uh, you can uh, uh, be visible uh, by being, uh, by uh, presenting, okay, by presenting your research, okay, in conferences, in seminars, uh, or in webinar, or you can be a resource person, okay, like uh, um, being an uh, external examiner. Oh, okay, you can uh, use uh, social media, okay, social media. There are um, so many sorts of uh, uh, social media, okay, that we have okay, nowadays, like Facebook, okay, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, okay. So we can use this, okay, uh, to network and also to collaborate, yeah. Okay, and finally, okay, uh, next slide is training, okay? So, I think that, okay, training, okay, is a way in surviving, okay, your early academic career, okay, if, you, if let's say, okay, you feel that, okay, you are short of uh, some sort of uh, skills, okay, like writing, teaching, okay, um, uh, okay? Uh, so, you can uh, sign up, okay, for training, okay, like, uh, and, okay, we have, um, uh, so many kind of uh, training that we, uh, we are going to organize okay, this year, okay, like for writing, okay, teaching, and also for research. Yeah? All right, so we come to exercise uh, two. All right, so um, identify, okay, if you please identify, okay, three top strategies, okay, that you can plan for your academic career, for your academic career survival. So uh, I'm going to break you into groups of five. Okay, and um, I hope okay that you're going to appoint okay 
uh, a leader okay, your group, okay, and uh, when you come back, okay, you are going to present to us, okay, what are your plan, okay, in order to survive, okay, in your early academic career, all right, everybody, uh, any questions, do you understand what you're supposed to do? All right, so find three top strategies that you can plan, okay, for your academic career survivor, for your early academic career survivor, just three. You can discuss in your group and then uh, you, you need to come up, okay, um, the most three top strategies only and then present, okay, to us later on. Uh, so I'll give you 10 minutes. Uh, Um, okay, Dr. Lemmy, we'll break up yeah. them into the breakout room right now. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think all of you are back, right? Is there anybody else still in the break room? Shida? Okay, Dr. Okay, okay. All right, now uh, let's listen okay, to your uh, answers, okay? So what is your plan, okay, in order to survive, okay, in your early academic career? Okay, perhaps, okay, your responses, okay, are different, okay, from mine, okay, maybe you can uh, come up okay, with uh, different kind of uh, strategies. So maybe you can share here. Hello, Dr. Hello, ah, Dr. Faisal. Ah, yes. Uh, so I think the first one we can find research collaboration within your faculty first. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's good. And then in UM. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, should I give three? So we want three. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Plan your grant uh, proposal early. And then um, uh, you should have a very good collaboration collab, uh, collaboration team, team members. Yes, yes, that's good. Yeah, uh, I agree with you, Dr. The third one, okay? The third one. Huh? Uh, because it's very important okay, to have a very good... Uh, team, okay, research team especially, but then, okay, um, sometimes, okay, uh, you may never have uh, the same uh, research team, okay, sometimes, okay, you need to uh, come up okay, with different team, okay, because uh, you have a different uh, topic, okay, this is topic, but uh, basically, okay, you can have uh, uh, this, uh, maybe you can have okay, this uh, main team, okay, in your own faculty, because it's very nice, okay, to have uh, somebody okay in the department that can support you right uh, this one okay, i will explain later uh, uh yeah okay talking about research proposal okay um uh, anybody is there anybody of you okay know about uh, what is uh bkp 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 <laughs> i don't know what is the full term full term okay for bkp well, it, it's bkp okay bkp is a short form for uh, small like okay, business grant, okay, uh, some it's, it's like a uh, faculty uh, business grant, but it's uh, normally okay for uh, young, okay, for young or new lecturers, uh, one to five years old lecturers. Okay, and uh, Dr. Pazel, okay, maybe you can try BKP. Have you, can uh, I kind of know, okay, are you new or not? Okay, how long have you been in Sibelaya? Dr. Pazel? Hello. Sorry. Yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> How long have you been in Simla? Um, yeah. Oh, uh, I was. Uh, I did my masters in two thousand ten, I think, and then I left uh, UM for PhD, and then came back in twenty seventeen. Uh, okay. for postdoc. Uh, oh, okay. So you're like uh, Doctor Aini just now. Uh, no. I, I I'm I'm not sure what the tiny is. Uh, can I know uh, which history. faculty are you from? I'm in uh Institute of Ocean and Earth Sciences, IOS. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
not okay. PPM. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, uh, Dr. Fazil. Okay, for your responses. Okay. All right. Um, next group. Okay, uh, Dr. Fazil, are you in group one? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know the number. <laughs> you don't know the number. Okay. <laughs> uh, which your break room? Uh, break room. Are you in just now? With the Dr. Soh and Dr. Nisom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, it's okay. Alright, okay, next, uh, next group. Uh, hi, next group is group number two together with me, Chi Chin Fei, is Dr. Farid, Dr. Uh, Komuta, and Yamona. Um, Farid has proposed to collaborate with senior faculty on the grant application as well as student supervisions. And then uh, we are also thinking of uh, uh, be a program coordinator or the um, coordinator of these micro credential courses to be the one of the way to be uh, to survive in our early career. Oh, okay. Thank uh, you. Uh, only two, Dr. Chi. Three. Three. Uh, what's the second one? Sorry, I didn't get the second one. One is on the ground, another one is on the su uh, uh, students. Supervision, eh? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, good, uh, Dr. Chi. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, the third uh, uh, response, okay, is different to what I have uh, presented, okay, just now. Okay, it's about uh, my credential, okay, in order to survive, okay, as uh, an early career, okay, in So, we are going to do my credential, okay, yeah, very good, okay, because uh, uh, from our uh, VC, okay, Putusan, okay, this morning, okay, also mentioned about uh, the credential, okay, that uh, and that okay, needs, needs to organize a bit more micro credential, okay, courses. Uh. Uh, so now we only have about 23, so uh, our VC suggested to, uh, okay, to 50, yeah? so you have a uh, room, okay, to contribute, eh? Dr. Chi, very good. Okay, next, next group. Next group, Sha. <laughs> next slide. Eh? Next group. Uh, group three. Next group. Uh, Dr. Telhami, group three uh, yeah. tak ada. Oh, group three tak ada. Uh, tadi memang tak ada siapa yang masuk. So, group empat teruslah. Okay, okay. Group four, okay, alright. Group four. Good afternoon, Dr. Ihami uh, and everyone. Yeah. Um, I'm mainly helping. Um, in group four, uh, we have uh, Dr. Jasmine, Dr. Ismail, um, Dr. Dana from Pasum. And also another colleagues from Faculty of Science. And uh, we think that uh, the three strategies uh, that can help us to survive. Uh, if my, my colleagues wanted to add, uh, please do that. Uh, the first is we will have a good mentor so that uh, he or she will share the tips so that uh, it can help us to avoid any mistakes that uh, any lessons that we can learn from them so we can avoid that. Second is a uh, network expansion. Uh, we, in this point, uh, we hope, we think that if we can look beyond the opportunity, look beyond the boundary of UM uh, to seek the opportunity opportunity in the industry or also to meet joint conference to meet other colleagues from other university uh, can help. Uh, because of this second point, it can help us to the third point of research collaboration of the work in journal publication. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Bo. Okay, Dr. Bo, can I know okay, which faculty are you from? I'm from Faculty of Built Environment. Built Environment. 
Thank you, Dr. Bo. All right. Okay, good. Okay, you have uh, three uh, strategies. Okay, you have come up with okay, three strategies of how to survive okay, in your early academic career. Uh, all right. Um, okay, about okay, looking for a good mentor. Okay, have you found a mentor? I hope. <laughs> okay, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, but uh, yeah, yeah, you, you have to keep on uh, looking okay for mentor. It's not easy okay to find a suitable mentor. Okay. Uh, and, Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, especially okay because mentor okay is not uh, being implemented okay formally okay in our university. Yeah? Um, right. Um, but. Uh, uh, research okay has found that um, those okay still okay, that have uh, implemented a okay, mentorship okay, as a, a formal system okay they have found out okay, research have found out that there's a relationship okay between uh, um, uh, academic uh, uh, early academic career uh, with their survival um, so uh, it shows that okay uh, by having okay mentor okay is good okay for your career. Right, so I wish you the best of luck, okay, Dr. Bo. Okay, uh, so I saw that, okay, Dr. Ni, Dr. Ng, okay, just uh, came in, okay, Dr. Dr. Ng, okay, maybe you want to share? Are you in the same group, Dr. Bo, or are you in a different group? <laughs> uh, sorry, I actually uh, just attended a bit late because uh, just a bit caught up with technical work. Um, but uh, just to share, I think uh, in terms of uh, top three strategies, I do think that uh, with the recent change in KPI, uh, I felt that uh, it's probably quite important for us to really um, look into what is uh, quite important uh, in terms of the current drive, where you're looking towards industrialization and uh, industry partnerships as well as looking outside in terms of uh, collaborative networks for to build your career. And uh, in that instance, I, what I've been uh, getting involved with was uh, a project that I uh, initiated with some of my students, and we created this community of practice which now spans several universities and uh, I'm actually uh, expanding that to Yale at the current moment uh, because I'm going to be a visiting Yale faculty for this year. And uh, what we're hoping to do is to build a digital health platform, which is going to be patient-centric to allow the patients to have access to their own healthcare and to enable them to have remote health monitoring at the same time. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, Dr. Okay. Yes, okay, that's a good suggestion okay, from you. Uh, so for medical doctors, okay, especially, okay, you need to uh, get registered okay, with uh, KKM, uh, Ministry of Health, uh, okay, in order to uh, uh, in order to be licensed okay, as a medical uh, doctor. Uh, at the same time, um, lecturing and also teaching okay, uh, uh, medicine. Uh. Uh, all right, okay, thanks, uh, Dr. Er, for sharing. Most welcome. Uh, Okay, so uh, next, okay, we go to uh, next slide. Um, okay, so on top of the strategies, okay, uh, in order to survive, okay, in your early academic career, okay, you need to possess uh, the right characters. So I have identified okay, five R uh, characters, okay, in order to survive in your early academic career, okay, which are resourceful, uh, respectful, relational, resilience, and rest and recreation. Okay, so what is a uh, resourceful? Okay, next, Asha. All right, so resourceful is about okay, being proactive, okay, and not simply waiting for help okay, to come to you. So meaning that, okay, in uh, being, okay, as an early equity carrier, okay, you cannot just cry for help, okay, but you have to go out, okay, from your office, okay, and you have to look for the help. Uh, you have to seek the advice, okay, uh, from your seniors, okay, from your uh, colleagues, and also from your mentors, and also from your friends, okay, from the uh, industry and also from other um, universities. Eh? All right. So how to be resourceful? Okay, next, Asha. Uh, so firstly, okay, you need to become an active uh, member of the department. Okay. Uh, so we need that. Okay, you cannot um, um, shy. You cannot be shy. Okay, you cannot. Uh, be on yourself, okay, alone by yourself. Okay, you need to mingle, okay, you need to be 
uh, apa the key of the department eh? um, and then next uh, you also okay need to attend professional and development opportunities in research teaching leadership supervision cultural awareness work life balance and language acquisition for example okay so for all these of our courses okay they are offered okay by edit eh? except for language acquisition okay uh, that one this one okay you have to look for you have to look from uh, faculty of language yeah? and i believe that there are some uh, uh, new lecturers okay from uh, language faculty okay attending this course uh, okay maybe okay they can help okay in this kind of uh, being uh, okay resourceful okay any uh, anybody okay from language faculty who would like to add about uh, language acquisition, language um, program, language courses. How are we going to equip ourselves okay, with uh, language skills, especially English or other kind of language like Korean or uh, Spanish or German? Anybody from uh, language faculty? Okay, so if there's no one, okay, and uh, I would like to uh, continue okay next job uh, okay and in order to uh, in order to be resourceful so okay you you can use uh, social media okay to support your academic work okay like uh, facebook okay LinkedIn. Eh? Uh, so um, um, in order to um, get okay some uh, collaboration or some networking okay you need to look for friends okay from uh, from the industry okay from other uh, from other universities, okay, um, in order to network and collaborate. Uh, so when you post, okay, anything that um, related, okay, to your work, okay, maybe, okay, they will give some comments. Uh, so from there, okay, you can uh, get some inputs on how, okay, to improve and how uh, to look for opportunities. Uh. All right, uh, next, sure. And, um, Okay, the next R is uh, being uh, respectful. Eh? Being respectful. So, what is respectful? Okay, respectful is about uh, recognizing that the university functions as a collegial enterprise and requires everyone to serve each other, their disciplines, uh, their students, and their community in ways that draw on each other's strengths and compensate for in individual weakness. All right. So, as a new uh, academic. Uh, uh, lecturer, okay, uh, you need to be uh, research, uh, respectful, okay, in the sense that, okay, you join others, uh, uh, you collaborate with others, with women colleagues, others, okay, uh, in uh, uh, being, okay, as a university committee, okay, with that, okay, you get involved, okay, in administration, okay, you are being respectful, when you are being wanted, okay, in the administration, okay, you cannot just say no, okay, uh, you have to accept it, okay. But then, okay, uh, make sure that, okay, you are not uh, being uh, over-involved, okay, in administration, okay, make sure that there's a balance, okay, uh, with your research, uh, research and uh, publication and teaching and learning, okay, remember, okay, the three main tasks, okay, that ha I have uh, uh, given to you, okay, in our first slide, okay, and uh, I think, okay, all of you have known that um, uh, about the weightage, okay, the weightage, okay, which is allocated okay, for each uh, main task that we have to do, okay, for research, for research and uh, uh, research and publication, okay, about 40 to 50 percent, okay, it's allocated for that. And for teaching and learning, okay, it's also the same 40 to 50, whereas for services or for administration, okay, it's about 10 to 20. So it's up to you, okay, to choose, okay, because it's uh, flexible. Uh, so the range is given to you and you can choose, okay, the weightage. Uh, so uh, this kind of uh, KPI, okay, which is implemented last year, okay, it's not uh, similar, okay, to uh, the previous the previous years, okay, whereby uh, whereby uh, the weightage is different again, okay, and uh, we are not using okay KPI pointers, uh, so it's very hard okay to get marks, okay, because it depends okay uh what okay what you got eh? uh, the publication okay the students okay how many students do you have. Eh? How many articles do you have? Eh? Uh, and, uh, uh, the administration work, okay? How many uh, administration work, okay, that you do? So on, eh? Okay, next, okay, you need to demonstrate care for your students and colleagues, uh, supervision activities and community-based work. Eh? And you need to filter advisors, okay? So as a young uh, academic 
lecturer, okay, of course, okay, you're going to get okay, lots of advices okay, from your seniors, from your grades. Huh? But you have to be respectful, okay, you have to uh, um, take all, okay, but then you need to filter, okay, you need to uh, filter, okay, or uh, you need to filter from the advices, okay, and uh, you need to choose okay, which are the most uh, best advices, okay, which are suitable and which are most appropriate okay, in the situation. Eh? And uh, being respectful also is about your reaction, okay, when you are asked to do something that you do not want to do. Eh? So if you are asked to do, which, uh, which uh, you do not want to do, okay, especially okay, your boss okay, asks you to do it, <laughs> but you cannot say no. Eh? Uh, you have to be polite, eh? you have to be polite, you have to be respectful, eh? uh, and uh, you have to be uh, Careful, okay, with your reaction, okay. Don't uh, get angry. Don't uh, marah marah. Eh? Uh, so just smile, uh, okay, and be respectful, okay. And also, okay, you need to uh, familiar with core strategy and policy documents, okay. Uh, so as a, a young okay lecturers, okay, uh, it doesn't mean that even though you are young, even though you are new, okay, it doesn't mean that you do, uh, you cannot say. Uh, you do not know okay about the current policies eh? about the current strategies okay like uh, our VC uh, Sun, okay this morning and also okay about the uh, uh, poise okay do you know what is poise okay so poise is uh, our current okay working culture okay P for passionate O for oneness I for integrity S for sincerity and E for empathy yeah so uh, this uh, working culture okay is uh, just implemented okay last year okay, together with the new KPI. Uh, so it's not uh, like previous okay years okay when we have uh, seven okay core uh, values okay um, uh, which are some of them are like uh, academic freedom. Eh? Uh, I also okay cannot remember of uh, this uh, core values okay the previous core values when it comes to. Last year, okay, uh, our VC has introduced okay to points, so it's very easy to remember. Uh, so uh, you need to okay, you need to not just remember, okay, you, know, you need to practice, eh? you need to implement uh, these okay values okay in your work, and you need to serve your discipline now and future. Okay, you need to uh, do your work. Okay, if you are asked uh, to teach, okay, let's say that more than three courses but three courses is a uh, normal okay it's the minimum uh, uh, workload okay some uh, some of us okay have got uh, more than three okay four uh, because uh, that's because okay last time okay is a uh, condition okay in order to be confirmed okay that you need to teach okay more than uh, three subjects eh? okay next yeah okay and the next R is being relational okay what is a relational? Okay, relational means that okay, uh, that not only that you are able to act to change the world around you, but that the action okay you take have an impact on others for good and good. It's about knowing how to know who as well as knowing what, how, and why. So we need that okay, uh, being a, a, a new okay academic uh, uh, lecturer. Okay, you need to have some contacts okay with people eh? uh, especially okay, with people okay that doing uh, similar work okay like you okay so for okay, if you are in the medical line okay so you have to know okay those people um, who are um, writing okay about uh, something okay similar to your work eh? uh, and then okay, you also need to contact okay with uh, former uh, graduate students and also graduate student colleagues eh? Um, uh, you, you have to know, okay, top uh, 10 scholars in your field, okay, do you think that you know the 10 um, top scholars? You have to jot down, okay, list down, okay, how many top scholars that you know. Uh, and uh, you need to make contact with your mentors, okay, sometimes, okay, your supervisors are your mentors, huh? like me, okay, my, my uh, supervisors are my mentors. Uh, so you need to build rapport, okay, with your mentors, okay, don't just, after finishing, right, finishing, okay, your PhD, that's it, okay. Uh, you said bye bye okay to your supervisor okay uh, for me okay i have already uh finished my phd sometimes ago in 2008 but i'm still in contact okay, with my uh, supervisor ex supervisor okay this is my mentor and then okay you need to talk to your department uh, colleagues okay so i mentioned this okay uh, you cannot uh, be alone you cannot uh, stand alone okay you need to 
uh, mingle, we need, we need to collaborate, okay, not just with your um, uh, department members, but also with other people, okay, outside of uh, Muslim layer. And uh, you need to be examiners for graduate uh, students, uh, be a guest lecturer in your course, and you need to seek professional guidance and support, okay, either locally, nationally, or internationally. Okay, next chart. Okay, the next R is resilience. Okay, so this R is very important. Okay, it's about being able to bounce back okay, from rejection, okay, cope with unexpected events, and respond positively to adversity. All right. Uh, why? Okay, because okay, by being a young academic um, lecturer, okay, uh, you are bound okay to face uh rejections okay especially in uh, uh submitting in a publication okay and uh, publication of uh, journal articles okay so if you are asked okay to revise okay i advise you that you need to revise okay don't just suck up okay? and then uh, think uh, that we okay, have to take it uh, positively yeah? so if you get a uh, very long okay comments uh, from your reviewer, okay, general reviewer, okay, you take it, okay, take it and then make corrections and then you submit, okay, the revision. And, okay, if your uh, article is rejected, okay, uh, don't be sad, okay, again, okay, you also need to rewrite, okay, your uh, articles and uh, what you can do is that um, submit, okay, to other journal, okay, uh, so, but before, okay, before submitting, okay, to other journal, okay, you have to make sure that, okay, the journal, okay, is suitable, okay, with your team, okay, with your title, okay, you cannot just send it, okay, uh, blindly, okay, without checking up first, okay, what is the journal about, eh? what is the team of the journal about, okay, and what is the, what about the language, okay, what about the teams, okay, uh, you have to make sure that, okay, your topic, okay, it's not similar with, with what, okay, people have uh, submitted with what uh, people have uh, published, okay, in that article, in the, that uh, journal, uh, okay, so you have to do your homework first, okay, before submitting. And then, okay, um, you also are going to get uh, some feedback, okay, uh, for your work, okay, sometimes, okay, the feedback uh, negative, okay, so don't be sad, okay, take it uh, positively, yeah, uh, but this uh, feedback, okay, is good, okay, uh, for your improvement, eh? uh, there's room for improvement. Uh, let's say that you get a bad, uh, a bad uh, teaching evaluation, bad uh, a load, uh, C tests. Uh, uh, don't be sad. Okay, uh, you need to improve. Okay, uh, so from the marks, okay, uh, C test marks. Okay, you will notice. Okay, uh, that uh, those uh, low marks. Okay, so you can improve from that. Okay, as for example, okay, like uh, let's say that the teaching delivery, okay, the marks for teaching delivery, okay, is low. So what you, you can do, okay, you can improve, okay, in the future. And then, okay, um, you also, okay, will be getting rejection, okay, from uh, uh, funding, um, um, from funding grants, okay, uh, from uh, different organization, okay. Also, I would like to advise you, okay, not to be sad, okay, this is normal. I also face uh, many, many uh, rejections, okay, from uh, FRGS, uh, uh, even from our own uh, local uh, grants, okay, from our university grants, also uh, face uh, rejections, okay, so it's normal, normal, okay, so take it uh, positively, okay, so if you get uh, uh, the comments, okay, make, uh, make a correction, okay, from the comments, okay, revise, uh, and then submit uh, again, uh. Uh, you can uh, either submit, okay, to other funding uh, organization, okay, not just uh, our university, yeah. uh, for example, okay, like the uh, RGS, okay, um, if, okay, your proposal, okay, got rejected, okay, you cannot uh, submit yeah, uh, the similar topic, okay, let's say next year, if, let's say that this year, okay, you got rejected, and then you want to submit the similar topic next year, no, okay, it's a big no, no, okay, because FRGS, okay, they got some kind of uh, system where they can detect, okay, uh, uh, especially, okay, if your Summary executive okay, similar okay. You do not uh, changes okay to your executive summary. Yeah? You do not revise your executive summary. And uh, I have uh, mentioned about teaching evaluation okay, and then okay, your reaction okay when your students want to change uh, supervisor okay. It also happens to me. Uh, so you have to 
to take it okay positively okay sometimes we have to know okay what are the reasons of why okay the students want to change so why is it is it because of uh, uh they want to change their topics okay uh, and it is not your field then okay you have to take it eh? you have to take it you have to accept it okay uh, and then okay we'll be lots uh, happier okay uh, by accepting okay this is uh, your fate eh? uh, and then uh, finally okay rejection of promotion okay i also face this kind of things uh, it happened in my life i've been rejected in my promotion uh, twice uh, but I uh, bounce back, okay? I keep on applying, okay? And alhamdulillah, okay? I am now an associate professor. Okay, next, uh, Shah. Okay, so the last R is uh, rest and recreation, okay? Uh, so, um, being an uh, early academic uh, lecturer, okay? You are bound to face uh, stress, okay? And also, but now, okay, you uh, need to rest, okay, you need to rest, okay, make time for rest and creation, okay, because this help you to avoid, okay, burnout and also stress, yeah? uh, and also, okay, on top of that, okay, you need to be assertive, okay, especially when you ask uh, about the things, okay, that you are not supposed to do or is not in the field, okay, uh, you have to say no, and you also need to practice, okay, work life balance, okay, like, uh, uh, you have to give time okay for hobbies okay family exercise uh, balanced diet and also enough sleep eh? and um, and also okay you also need to set your own goal post and do not wait for someone else to come uh, to lead you eh? so let the work be its own reward okay so as uh, you know as i uh, informed you okay about kpi okay so kpi there are lots of uh, uh, goal post, okay, uh, set, okay, but you see, okay, that you have to achieve, okay, but you need to break them, okay, into small uh, goal posts, eh? uh, so you have to take it, okay, step by step, okay, uh, you need to achieve uh, one target by one target, okay, you cannot uh, achieve all, okay, so you have to do one by one, eh? and uh, uh, whenever you have achieved, okay, uh, those target, so, uh, uh, don't wait. Uh, don't wait. Okay, for other people to uh, say Tanya. Uh, okay, for you. Okay. Right. Next. Right. Uh, so this is uh, our third exercise. So identify your goals in these areas and who can help you in achieving them. So we are not uh, break you into break rooms, uh, but then okay, we are going to check here. Uh, I give you five minutes to think of how you are going to do this. How are you going to be uh, the five R? How are you going to achieve those five R? How are you going to get those five R characters? Hello? Okay, anybody wants to answer this uh, question? Anybody? Any volunteer? Yes, anybody? Uh, Yamuna? Maybe we can uh, hear from Yamuna. Yamuna Su Suchidara.
Muhammad Nizam. Maybe uh, Muhammad Nizam would like to share. Um, Jasmine. Hi, hi Dr. Ilhami. Uh, hi. Hi, sorry. Um, I was yeah. actually on a call just now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so what, what is it that you're um, asking me? So probably I can gather my thoughts and answer it. Uh, yeah, okay. Our question is about, okay, uh, identify your goals in these areas and who can help you in achieve them. Okay, just now I presented about the 5R uh, uh, right um, uh, characters, which are resourceful, respectful, resilience, rest and recreation. And also relational. So, what do you think? Who can help you in being resourceful, being respectful, being relational, being re resilient? And how about who can help you to rest when you are facing stress or burnout? Oh, okay. So these are the five R's that ah, you yeah. mentioned just now, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. I, I think I just got um the resourceful and the resilience part. Ah, okay. <laughs> and I was missing the other um the, the other three, but never mind. So um who can help you in achieving this? Ah, yeah. Hmm, this is a very good question. Um I think it all depends on yourself and how you would you know be um, resilient in your job and how you'll be resourceful but at the same time you should establish um, you know relationship with good relationship with your colleagues in your program or in your department as well as your um, top management I would say but it has to you know start with yourself first to achieve these five hours I think that's that's my answer Okay, good. Uh, Dr. Dishman, okay, what do you mean by uh, starting with yourself? Um, so what I meant is that um, in terms, let's say, let's give an example, um, resourceful. Yep, I think you should initiate, um, you know, if you want to find, um, how would I say, a grants or uh, travel grants or uh, conferences that you want to go you should initiate that interest. You should initiate the first step to be um, searching for it. Ah, okay, good. good. Yeah, oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, yeah. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's really true. Okay, because sometimes uh, when it comes to uh, networking and collaborating, okay, you need uh, some ideas, okay, to discuss with them. You cannot just uh, go without knowing anything, without yes. having any ideas. Huh? Yes, yes, that, that, uh -huh. that's correct. I, I think, and also, um, I do that sometimes, you know, uh -huh. just um, telling people, okay, this is what I want to do, but I don't have a follow-up plan. So I think it's best for me, like, in terms of being resourceful, um, I should really have a plan um, of action if I want to, um, say, I want to collaborate with someone uh, see how their interests can actually, or their background can actually um, contribute to that particular project lah, um, in that sense. Okay, okay. Right. okay thank you, uh, Jasmine. Uh, Mama Nizam, okay, back to Mama Nizam. Uh, who is uh, SNFY? Uh, Dr. So, maybe you would like to share? Dr. So, Siak B. Yes, Associate Professor Dr. Ilhami. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I would like to share the the fourth R, resilient. Okay. I think like what uh, uh, um, Dr. Ilhami, you have just shared with us, uh, sometimes we have to face rejections. Um, for example, in terms of um, submitting our manuscripts for uh, review, um, sometimes you might get... Um, a lot of comments from the reviewers. Um, perhaps you know the submission you know is not successful. Um, in that case, I think we will need to keep trying. 
uh, until we um, make it. So like what um, doctor has shared with us, uh, perhaps we can actually just uh, go through the reviewer's comments and then we make amendments to improvise our papers and then we try again with another journal. So I think in, in, in terms of that fourth R, I think this resilient part, um, be it applying for grants or uh, submitting our papers for um, um, publications, I think we need to be really, really resilient in terms of, yeah, uh, in terms of this, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so, okay, you got it, eh? You got it. Uh, you have been experiencing it. <laughs> okay, okay. Everybody yeah. is experiencing it. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm not it's normal. Ah, yeah, it's normal. Yeah, thank okay. you so much for your okay. words of encouragement. Okay. Yeah. But uh, don't uh, forget okay, about uh, what I have uh, told you okay, in the yes. third slide okay, about, yeah. um, about uh, plagiarism and also uh, mm. avoid uh, blacklisted and uh, bill list uh, uh, yes. journals. Uh, okay? mm -hmm. Just target okay, for the ISI. Mm. Uh, are you from a medical faculty? No, actually I'm from the Faculty of Languages and Linguistics. Ah, okay. So uh -huh. for social sciences, okay, normally okay, we target uh -huh. uh, Scopus, but uh, you can go beyond Scopus, it's no harm because mm -hmm. uh, UM uh, is giving more marks okay, for ISR, yeah? So we, we should always aim high, right? Yes, that's right. And then, okay, if you are being rejected, then you, not, then you go down, okay? That's how you work, okay? In your yes, competition. Yes. Um, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. All right, okay, thank you, Dr. So. All right, okay, so we go to the next uh, slide, okay? So this is our uh, last slide, okay, about survival skills, okay? So on top of having uh, the right uh, uh, characters, okay, the five R right characters, okay, we also need uh, to have uh, some survival skills, okay? So I have identified only five, okay, survival skills, okay? Uh, firstly, is uh, teaching skills. Okay, so this is uh, the most important uh, skills. Okay, that you need to possess. Eh? Uh, because okay, we are lecturers. Okay, we, we have to know how to teach people. Eh? Uh, I know that okay, uh, most of us okay, we don't have a uh, uh, diploma in teaching. Okay, um, because okay, we just did our PhD. Okay, um, so we don't have any experience in teaching. But okay. Uh, there's no harm over it, okay, because you can try and you can apply uh, courses, okay, uh, at EDEC, okay, we, we, are, we are offering, okay, so many courses, uh, especially okay, in teaching, uh, teaching and learning uh, courses, uh, 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 and also on uh, e-learning uh, uh, courses. Uh. All right, then the second one is communication skills. Uh. Uh, this is also important. Uh, research, okay, has uh, found that uh, communication skill is the most important skills, okay, in order, in order to be employed. Eh? Um, so, um, um, uh, this is uh, the second, okay, survival skill, okay, uh, in order to be uh, young uh, or early academic uh, lecturers. Eh? Uh, but I believe that, okay, uh, it's no problem, okay, to all of you, okay, because, okay, all of you are doctors, okay, uh, PhD holders, okay, so communication is uh, no problem to you. Uh, but then, okay, communication is important, okay, in uh, uh, being uh, an academic, okay, because we need to communicate, okay, with our students, okay, with our colleagues, okay, with our co-researchers, uh, with our bosses, uh, uh, and also with uh, our collaborators, uh, Right, so communication is very important. Huh? Um, and uh, on top of it, okay, we need to be a team, huh? a team. Uh, so we need to have uh, team skills. Huh? Uh, so we need that, okay, um, uh, you cannot just um, what, uh, do your work, okay, but you need to, um, you need to be a team member, right? You need to be a team member. Uh, you need to uh, display, okay, some, uh, Desperate, uh, the cops. Spirit of uh, this, uh, spirit of uh, spirit the cops. Okay, uh, this uh, which is a uh, team, uh, team, uh, team uh, uh, memberships. Okay, uh, and then okay, other than that is uh, leadership skills. Okay, leadership skills. Even though okay, you are young, okay, you are new, but then okay, you need these skills. Okay, because you are leader. Okay, you are leader in your research, and also you are, you are being a mentor. Okay, to your student, right? Um, and finally, is time management skills. So this is also an important skill, okay? Because time is gold, and uh, you need to manage your time uh, correctly, okay? You have to make your 
plan uh, correctly. You have to organize. Okay, you have to prioritize. You have to do some scheduling. Eh? Uh, you have to make sure that you meet the deadline. Eh? Uh, you have to monitor your time. Okay, so uh, next, Asha. So for this uh, time management skill, okay, I have uh, brought to you, okay, Hansen uh, Hansen Howell matrix, okay, Hansen Hansen Howell matrix, okay, whereby you can uh, categorize your work, okay, according to four, okay, types of work, which which is uh, firstly urgent and important, okay. Urgent and important, okay. For example, like uh, attending uh, to urgent customer requests, uh, uh, if there is any quality issue, okay, uh, deadline uh, driven project. So, this one, okay, you have to do now. Uh, okay, you cannot postpone, okay, do not procrastinate, okay. And then, secondly, okay, important but not urgent, okay, uh, which is uh, relationship building. Uh, new opportunities, uh, strategic thinking, improving system. So this one, okay, you need to spend your majority time. So most of the time, okay, you need to spend on uh, relationship building, looking for new opportunities, and also having uh, creative, creative uh, mind and being innovative. Eh? And also, uh, when we are work, when we are working, okay, we need to improve the system. Okay, especially if there are weaknesses, flaws. Okay, we have to suggest okay on how to improve them. Eh? And then uh, the second uh, type of work is urgent but not important, okay? Sometimes, okay, we face a distraction, okay? Uh, we face interrupt interruption, okay? For example, like phone call, okay? Emails, uh, so this one, okay, we need to avoid uh, or we can uh, delegate, uh, uh, all right? Um, and finally, okay, uh, non-urgent and non-important, okay, like uh, trivia, okay, time wasters, okay, this one, you have to stop doing them. All right. Uh, for example, like uh, most of us, okay, <laughs> sometimes, okay, me for myself, okay, for example, okay, I sometimes, okay, got addicted, okay, to Facebook, okay, looking for Facebook, eh? uh, because uh, there are so many photos, eh? uh, so many description of the photos, so uh, you got a uh, hook, okay, by the uh, Facebook, eh? uh, or Instagram, eh? or even uh, LinkedIn, eh? Uh, so, if you are busy, okay, you have some deadlines to do, okay, uh, then, okay, uh, you have to stop, okay, looking at this uh, Facebook uh, and uh, Instagram. Okay, so now we go to exercise, uh, last exercise, okay, so now I want you to identify three most important skills, okay, in surviving your early academic career. So, I suppose that um, my five... Uh, uh, survival skills, okay, maybe not uh, the same, okay, with you, what you have, okay, in your mind, uh, or what you have, okay, uh, so could you please, okay, identify, uh, you think that, okay, there are other uh, important skills, okay, which are important for you in order to survive your early academic career? All right, so, yeah, yeah. I give you five minutes, okay, to think of it, okay, because uh, we have only 15 of us. Uh, I think, okay, we're not going to break out, okay, the room. Okay, anybody?
Uh, Muhammad Nizam, uh, can I hear from you? Are you here? Uh, Yamuna, Suci Daram, uh, Kumutu Mala, SNY, SNFY, SNFY. Dr. Ilhami, ah, ya? ah, dekat chat rasanya ada Dr. Eng ah? memberikan um, pendapat juga. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, thank you Dr. Eng. Okay, I think the most important I feel is to network well. As early in our career, we will need the help of other experts and funding to kickstart our work. What do others think? Okay, what do you think? Okay, Yamuna said, I think teaching communication and time management skills are the most important skills in surviving the early academic career. Um, okay, Yamuna, thank you. But uh, can you suggest other important survival skills other than what I have uh, presented here? Uh, Muhammad Nizam, are you here? Uh, Kumutu Malar, uh, okay, I do agree with uh, Dr. Eng as being team leader and initiating collaboration will help as uh, to expand our research. Yes, that's right. So I think all of you agreed with uh, uh, most of uh, the skills, okay, as um, survival skills eh, that we need. Eh? in order to survive okay, in our early academic career, right? Okay, it's not easy to survive, um, especially okay, with publication, okay, because um, without uh, research, okay, we cannot publish, so we need to have, and we also need to get okay, some uh, funding. Okay, uh, Dr. Eng said, uh, I think commercialization skills and learning to attract foreign funding okay, might be important, especially with the current climate where funding is getting more scarce. scarce. Uh, yeah, Dr. Eng. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, it's not easy, okay, to get uh, foreign funding, okay? Um, so if uh, anybody, okay, who got uh, foreign funding, okay, I salute you. Um, but then, okay, um, I think, okay, that's uh, the only outlet, okay, because... Uh, Nowadays, okay, we are facing a shortage okay, of funding, so especially uh, locally. Yeah. Locally, yeah. Uh, locally. Um, um, because okay, we are facing okay, economic crisis. Uh, and, but then okay, we are improving. Okay. Our economy is improving. Okay. Uh, I heard that uh, uh, there are lots of opportunities okay, overseas, okay, such as uh, uh, European, uh, European uh, funding. Okay. Uh, maybe okay, you can uh, try your luck there. Um, last time, okay, uh, Professor. Uh, just now, okay, uh, our VC, okay, our VC this morning, okay, our VC presented uh, the top uh, top researchers, okay, in um, in the okay. Um, so one of them is Professor <laughs> Professor Joanne Joanne. Eh? Juan, Juan, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Juan, I, I believe, okay, he's from, I know that he's uh, from uh, Faculty of Science. Uh, 
Okay, so thank you, Dr. Ng. Okay, so you added okay, one more skill, okay, which is a learning skills. Eh? Learning skills, yes, I agree with you that learning skills is also important okay, in order to survive. Uh, and uh, uh, being an academic, okay, uh, it's not only for students, okay, that we have to learn uh, all the time, okay, even though we have uh, already got our PhD, okay, but then, okay, being uh, an academic, okay, we are still learning, uh, we learn from our mistakes, okay, um, uh, we learn from others, eh? so learning, okay, is vital and also important, okay, in order to be successful, a successful, okay, academic career. Yes, anybody else? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Dr. Ng said commercialization skill. Okay, yes, commercialization skills are also important, especially for uh, science uh, faculty. All right, but then, okay, uh, even uh, for uh, social science faculty, we also need to commercialize our work, but then, like, because of we more focus on people, but and then like, it's very hard lah, uh, to commercialize our work. Eh? Uh, but then okay, for uh, Faculty of Science, okay, commercialization maybe okay, is uh, it's, uh, top of your agenda uh, because uh, especially okay, Dr. Ng, right? Dr. Ng, I think you are from uh, biomedical faculty, right, Dr. Ng? Uh, so you come up okay, with uh, products. So you need to commercialize okay, the product. Uh, and uh, commercialization okay, is also a part of our KPI lifetime. Uh, there are five parts okay, for just for commercialization. Eh? Uh, so uh, commercialization skills is also important. Um, but then again, okay, again, um, uh, it's, it's, it's important to know that okay, you have to come up okay, with um, some novel ideas. Eh? But I think okay, it's not... Uh, it's not uh, it's, uh, it's not uh, harm okay for you okay since uh, all of you are PhD holders okay we have uh, lots of ideas eh? um, but okay coming back okay to plagiarism okay make sure that you do not plagiarize people's work all right okay anything else okay no uh, if uh, there's no more questions no more responses I hope that. Uh, these sessions okay is uh, beneficial okay for all of you so i would like to thank uh, very much okay all of, all of you okay for participating and also for attending okay this session eh? and uh, could you please okay uh, fill in okay the feedback form okay for us to improve okay 